Welcome back to Tales for English Fluency. I'm Emma, and with my friend Ava, we're here to chat about families. We'll use simple words so everyone can follow along. Ava, let's delve into the roles each family member plays. It's fascinating how everyone contributes in their own way, don't you think? Absolutely, Emma. In my family, my dad is like the captain of a ship, steering us through life's ups and downs with wisdom and patience. That's a lovely way to put it. My mom is the heart of our home, always making sure we're fed, happy, and loved. She's like a nurturing tree that shelters us all. I can see that. And siblings, there's there our first friends and sometimes our first rivals. My brother taught me how to ride a bike and stand up for myself. Siblings are indeed our lifelong companions. My sister and I share clothes, secrets, and even our dreams. We support each other no matter what. And then there are the grandparents. My grandpa is a storyteller, taking us on adventures with his tales from the past. Grandparents are treasures, aren't they? My grandma is a well of wisdom. Her advice has guided me through many crossroads in life. Each family member adds something unique to the family dynamic. It's like a puzzle, and when we come together, the picture is complete. So true. And let's not forget the role of extended family members. My aunt is like a second mother to me, always there when I need extra support. Extended family members can be a blessing. My uncle is the one who always fixes things around the house and tells the corniest jokes. Family is not just about blood relations. It's about who stands by you. Friends can become family too, like you, Ava. That's right, Emma. Family is about love and connection. It's about the people who are there for you, cheering you on and lifting you up. Well, I think that's a wrap for this part of our discussion. We've talked about the roles of family members and the value they bring to our lives. Yes. And we hope our listeners find comfort and joy in their own family roles and relationships. Let's continue this conversation in our next segment. Emma, moving on, let's talk about how families grow and change. Ava, have you noticed how family dynamics shift over time? Yes, Emma. Families are like living things. They grow. Babies are born, kids turn into adults, and adults become parents and grandparents. It's a beautiful cycle. I remember when my cousin was born. Our family gathered and there was so much joy. A new life brings everyone together. It does. And as we grow up, our roles change. We go from being cared for to caring for others. Like when I started helping my little brother with his homework. That's a sign of maturity. And sometimes, family members move away for jobs or school. But the love doesn't diminish. It just stretches over distances. True. My aunt moved across the country, but we still talk every week. Distance can't break the bonds we share. And let's not forget how families blend. Marriages bring new people into the family, adding to the richness of our lives. Absolutely. My brother-in-law is like the brother I never had. He fits right into our family puzzle. Blended families show us that love isn't limited. It grows and includes everyone who enters our lives. Speaking of love, families also support each other during tough times. When my grandfather was ill, everyone pitched in to help. It's during those times that we realize the strength of our family. We lean on each other and find comfort in being together. And as we face life's challenges, we learn and grow stronger. Our family's history is filled with stories of resilience and unity. Each challenge is a chapter in our family story, teaching us valuable lessons and bringing us closer. Emma, I think our listeners will appreciate hearing about the ways families evolve and support each other through all of life's stages. I hope so. And to our listeners, remember, your family's journey is unique and precious. Embrace the changes and cherish the moments. Now, let's consider the special occasions that families celebrate together. Ava, what family celebrations stand out for you? Well, Emma, 
Birthdays are always a big deal in my family. We throw a party, bake a cake, and make the person feel extra special. Birthdays are wonderful. In my family, we have a tradition of planting a tree on each person's birthday. It's our way of giving back to nature and marking the growth of our loved ones. That's beautiful. And then there are the holidays. My family celebrates Eid by preparing a feast and inviting everyone over. It's a time of togetherness and gratitude. Holidays bring their own magic. For Christmas, we decorate the house and exchange gifts. It's a season of giving and sharing joy. Don't forget weddings. They're like big family reunions where we welcome new members into the fold. Yes. Weddings are joyful occasional gaze. I love the dancing, the music, and the chance to catch up with relatives I haven't seen in a while. And it's not just the big events, even small rituals can be meaningful. Like our Sunday brunches, where we sit down and enjoy a meal together without any distractions. Those small moments can be just as precious. They're the threads that weave our daily lives into a beautiful family tapestry. Emma, I think our listeners will love to hear about these celebrations and maybe share their own family traditions with us. I hope so. And we encourage you all to find ways to celebrate with your families, creating memories that will last a lifetime. Ava, family conflicts are a reality too. How does your family handle disagreements? It's true, Emma. No family is perfect. We try to talk things out. Listening is key. We give everyone a chance to speak and try to understand their point of view. That's a healthy approach. In my family, we have a peace corner if someone is upset. They go there to cool down, and then we discuss the issue calmly. I like that idea. It's important to resolve conflicts with love and respect. After all, family is about sticking together, even when it's tough. Absolutely. And sometimes, we need to forgive and let go. Holding grudges only hurts the family bond. Forgiveness is powerful. It heals us and strengthens our connections. Emma, what about the role of humor in your family? Oh, humor is our glue. We laugh a lot, even during hard times. It helps us keep things in perspective and bond with each other. Laughter is indeed the best medicine. My family loves playing games and sharing funny stories. It keeps our spirits high. And let's not forget the importance of traditions in keeping a family strong. They anchor us to our roots and give us a sense of belonging. Yes, traditions like our annual camping trip, where we disconnect from the world and reconnect with each other. It's refreshing for the soul. Those shared experiences are priceless. They become stories we pass down to the next generation. Speaking of the next generation, how do you think we can best prepare them to carry on the family legacy? By teaching them our values, sharing our stories, and showing them the beauty of our traditions. We must lead by example. Well said, Emma. Our actions and words shape the future of our family. Let's make sure it's a legacy of love and unity. I couldn't agree more. To our listeners, we hope this part of our discussion helps you navigate family life with a bit more ease and laughter. Ava, family isn't just about the past and present, it's also about the future. How do we build a legacy for the generations to come? That's a profound question, Emma. I think it starts with the stories we tell. Our family history, the struggles, the triumphs, they all shape our identity. Absolutely. And it's not just about telling stories, it's about living out the values we want to pass on. Kindness, respect, and love. These are the gifts we give to the future. Yes, and we must also teach the young ones the importance of family bonds. Encouraging them to spend time with relatives, to listen to their elders, and to cherish their roots. Education is key. We teach them not just through words, but through actions. When they see us working together, supporting each other, they learn the true meaning of family. And let's not forget to empower them, giving them the confidence to add their own chapters to the family story. 
to make their own mark. That's how a family's legacy grows. Each generation contributes something new, building on the foundation laid by those who came before. It's a beautiful cycle of life, isn't it? And as we look to the future, we also stay grounded in the present, appreciating the family we have around us now. Indeed. The present is where we create the memories that will become the stories of tomorrow. Let's make them count. Well, Emma, I think this segment has given our listeners a lot to ponder about building a family legacy. I hope so. And to everyone listening, remember, you are part of your family's tapestry. Your actions today weave the pattern for tomorrow. As we wrap up our series on family, let's reflect on the importance of maintaining family connections. Ava, how do you keep the bond strong with your family? Emma, it's all about making time for each other. In my family, we have a no-screens dinner once a week where we just talk and listen to each other. To other. That's a great practice. We do something similar. We also make sure to celebrate not just the big achievements, but the small victories of each family member. Celebrating together is so important. It builds a sense of pride and unity. And don't forget about the power of a simple love you. Those three words can mean so much. They really do. And it's not just about saying it. It's about showing it through our actions being there when a family member needs us, offering help without being asked. Acts of kindness go a long way. And remembering to be patient with each other. Everyone has their own struggles, and understanding is key. Patience and understanding are the foundations of a strong family. And let's not forget to learn from the elders. Their experiences are invaluable. Absolutely. I've learned so much from my grandparents. Their stories of the past inspire me to build a better future. And as we build that future, Let's make sure it's inclusive. Our family circle should expand to embrace new members, friends, and even those who need a family. Inclusivity is the essence of a modern family. It's about creating a home where everyone feels welcome and valued. Well, Ava, I think we've covered a lot in our series. From the roles of family members to the ways we can strengthen our bonds and build a legacy. We sure have, Emma. And to our listeners, we hope this series has given you insights and inspiration to cherish your family and the time you spend with them. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, family is where our story begins and love never ends. Keep nurturing those bonds and creating beautiful memories. Until next time, take care and keep the family spirit alive.